Tonight, lies and lack of verification have an 11th grader fighting to clear his good name. So his mother says police arrested a 16 year old who pretended to be her son and two criminal cases. After making pleas to remove the charges from the wrong kid, she reached out to Ken's Five's Marvin Hurst for a resolution. Braden Prossy dreams of a career in football. I'm a good student on and off the field. So he practices hard, goes to camps. The dream for Braden is for Braden to pursue his dreams. And he follows his parents' rules to make sure nothing gets in the way. School, God, focus on what you have to do. Then in comes February with mail from attorneys who want to represent the 17 year old in court. His mother says she thought nothing of it until April brought more legal flyers. So she put her son's name into the online county record system. I had no words. I was screaming for him. I was screaming for my husband because I'm like, I know what I'm looking at, what I'm reading cannot be possible. And she's just asking me questions like, don't lie. Have you ever been arrested? I'm like, no, ma'am. Like, I've never been in trouble with the law before. His mother became an investigator. The 39 year old found out the first charge was for evading arrest and got a case number from the Converse Police Department. No mugshot was available. When you look at the date, the date was the date that he was actually in school. Didn't make sense. Wagner High School is where Braden attends school. His attendance printout will only show days he's missing or tardy. I confirmed with Wagner on the 21st the day of the crime, Brayton was at school. The second case was in April where San Antonio police made an arrest for a vehicle burglary and another evading charge. It was on Cinnamon Creek Drive. In this case, there was a mugshot in the system. This child looks nothing like my son. They're not even the same skin color. I requested and received the same mugshot. We can't show you the suspect's face or give you his name because he's a juvenile. We can show you the images side by side. It's a face Braden immediately knew from school and sports, but hadn't seen since freshman year. I, really, I just don't know how to feel about it. I can't wrap my head around it. According to the police report, the crime happened at 2 in the morning. Attendance records confirm Braden was tardy on April 25th, but on April 28th, the day of the crime, the high school junior was at school. His mother says attempts to clear her son's name with Converse PD, SAPD, and in court went nowhere. He can't, I can't, I can't let him drive because what happens if he get pulled over? I can't let him go anywhere with his siblings. I can't let him go anywhere with his cousins. So I feel like I have to watch my son 24 seven just to make sure he's safe. As for the teen suspect, he got out of the Bear County Detention Center on a personal recognizance bond on the first charge. A sheriff's office spokesperson says the 16 year old suspect admitted to using Braden's name when he got out of jail in the SAPD case. Deputies say his parents had to confirm his identity before they let him out of jail. If he was evading arrest, do you really believe he was going to give you his real information? According to BCSO, they had to get the young suspect out of the adult facility. They did not tell me why he didn't get transferred to juvenile detention. In a statement, San Antonio police tell me its officers followed procedures to identify and book the suspect since he was already in the system. It's not OK, and I'm not OK with it because my son could accidentally be killed because you didn't properly identify somebody. Converse police say it took their officer nearly two weeks after the February 21st arrest to discover the juvenile suspect gave them the wrong name. The police say they reached out to the district attorney to rectify the mistake. After I alerted San Antonio police, officers are now getting an arrest warrant for the teen who used Braden's name. Just like when we commit a crime, we're held responsible. They made the mistake. They need to fix it. Court records show the adult cases got dismissed because they really involve a juvenile suspect. But it's all still attached to Braden's name and his future. He's wrong for what he did. I still forgive him, but that's not my friend. I don't want it to just be over. There has to be some sort of change because if not my son, it could be somebody else's son. Marvin Hurst, Kins 5. Well, there is good news for Braden tonight. Marvin reached out to the Bear County District Attorney's Office. Their Conviction Integrity Unit reviewed the case, and they're filing an expedited expungement to clear Braden's record.